Hi guys, Misty here, back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. So yesterday I videoed my start of this work in progress and I was super bummed out to find out after that my recording was blurry. Now, I don't think that anybody is going to want to watch a hour-long episode of me talking through a blurry image. Now, if I had been able to reveal what I had recorded yesterday, you'll find out that I am not exactly 100% happy with the canvases symbols when I recorded yesterday it was later in the evening so I was having a hard time seeing and being able to differentiate between symbols because they use similar colors similar symbols in their in their on their canvas so, some of these that are down here look like triangles to me instead of like tetra symbols. And the one I was working on was a right triangle. So, it was causing me to be a little on the cross-eyed side. Um, now that I have... Now that I have the flash on my phone working, like on, um, I feel like the clarity is a lot better. I feel like I can see a lot better. I'm not struggling so much to see. So um, I feel like this painting is better with no light pad because um, in the middle of my recording, I ended up pulling out my light pad, which is, it's actually underneath this right now, but with the, with the overhead lighting, I don't need it, except it, you know, causes a shadow, obviously, but, but, I mean, it's either clarity of video or shadowing from the flash. So, I just don't know how long I can record with the flash on because I'm get I get a little worried about my phone overheating or you know something along those lines. So I am probably gonna have to record in in a shorter in a shorter um, time frame and just see how things are things are going. So We'll just see we'll just see how that works and hope hopefully we won't get any interruptions or or anything um i also realized after i uploaded a video that i forgot that i needed to okay so i'm over here struggling right now to try to pick up diamonds. Okay, now I finally got one picked up. But, um, I tried a lot of different ones, and now, of course, now that I move it over further, you can uh, see that I'm not struggling anymore. But, um, so anyway, um, I realized that I did not blur out sections that I needed to blur out of my children. And,. I had to pull down my my video um, just to make sure um, that I could get that stuff um, blurred because I didn't realize that YouTube's blur version like doesn't work like virtually right away. Um, when I looked it up, some people were saying it took them nine days to blur their video. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't, I can't have this episode sitting for nine days. So, I had to do some editing and discover that my phone actually edits faster than my computer. 
and it's my computer's a few years old and it and it's kind of a dinosaur but I don't think that I could handle dealing with um, I don't think I could handle dealing with using a little device trying to edit um, video um, so since I only had to basically I, I ended up having to put a cartoon face or a smiley face um, over the section where my children were walking back and forth um, it took less than like 30 minutes to render and usually videos like that take like a long time on my laptop and that's after it's aired like 5,000 times so uh, the struggle is real <laughs> and I you know I'm like in a catch-22 because while my phone renders things faster and I can edit them on my phone it just wouldn't be as easy as clicking a mouse around so I tried to talk my husband into getting a new laptop because um, I told him you know if if you ever you know go anywhere or whatever that and you're gonna be gone for a length of time you're not gonna have a computer um, because his computer died um, we don't know why it just it just one day it stopped working and um, so you know I told him like if you're ever deployed or anything then we're gonna have to you're gonna have to have a laptop and he's like we'll cross that bridge later so i'm thinking man like why because you know that could happen any day any time you never know these days what's gonna happen so um and he don't want to listen to it because he doesn't want to spend money and I and I get it I understand but it's not like I want to spend five thousand dollars or anything like that you know it's not it's not that crazy of a you know a price tag so I don't know it, it's just it's been hard because my computer is just gradually slowing down more and more and I sometimes I think like um you know it gets bogged down I started my YouTube channel I want to say sometime last year and I was just starting out on things and trying to learn um, I've been doing digital arting art stuff for a while like I can I can fully run you know Photoshop and not Photoshop uh, like paint shop okay. and some Photoshop just not a whole yeah. lot uh, I I'm aware of how to do those kinds of things and I have some experience with with digital arts and stuff like that because my sister um, and I were doing a website for a while um, about digital scrapbooking and um, gosh these diamonds don't, some of these diamonds don't want to pick up like all the ones that are over in the end of this tray don't want to pick up <laughs> so I'm aware of how to do you know quite a bit of things and um, I was learning this video editing program and it I feel like it was rather difficult to understand at the time I was not doing whip and chats I was too scared to do whip and chats you know I always thought like who's gonna want you know to listen to my life story and and whatnot and maybe you, you guys still are like who wants to listen to this lady's life story 
Uh, uh, but I'm just kidding. But um, no, I just I I was scared to put myself out there. So I just I just wanted to do time lapses of my diamond painting. I just wanted to be able to take them. Uh, at the time, my phone, my Google Pixel 2 XL, did not have like the hyperlapse feature on it. On it, so I was doing what I'm doing now, basically recording long sessions of video, which was in you know high quality resolution obviously so the files became really large really fast and we um we were filling up my hard drive before i could even get half of my time lapse done and I was just like, this is ridiculous. I don't even know. I don't even understand how this is even possible because, like, how am I ever going to be able to complete a time lapse? And I was having a lot of technical issues. Like, um, at the time, we tried to rig something up so that you could watch me paint along. And then. Uh, we actually stacked up a bunch of boxes and then you could see the box. So then I said, let's put, instead of like seeing the boxes, let's put a sheet over the top of it at least. And it just wasn't, it just wasn't working well. And so I, both of the videos that I posted previous of Anna and Elsa are missing a ton of of footage because I would run out of space or and I was having technical issues with my phone where it would just like stop recording or I was just having all kinds of issues so um, I said you know once I once I move to Colorado and um, my sister will be able to help me to watch the kids while I video well that never happened um, and but um, it just, you know, I, I never got around to it, and I, I, I tried um, once to pull out a tripod, and then realized I needed to buy the mobile device top, and I never, I never got it, and uh, because my sister had a tripod that she was gonna let me use, and so we never got it, and. I tried to work and stuff and then uh you know I was trying to work and I just you know I didn't I didn't have the motivation I needed at the time and I kept thinking like it it, it I can't right now because I have kids that are too loud I can't right now because they're two and five and they don't understand and um you know there's they're just too loud and they're so you know, I, I finally, you know, I, I watch other, I watch other YouTube videos of, of people diamond painting and realize that life is a part of, a part of all of this. So, you know, it's a, it's a, all a part of the process. And if I keep holding my breath and waiting for the right time, the right time, the right time, it'll never happen and I realized that I was just putting it off instead of um, instead of getting inspired by it and then um, another youtuber challenged um, the c different creators like I think um, she was um, probably challenging all creators not just specific ones but um she she challenged she challenged creators to do whip and chats instead of posting lives and i'm thinking sheesh there's no way that i could ever go live with a two and a five-year-old because they are just way too rambunctious uh, and finicky and there's no way I could do it so I decided that actually doing whip and chops 
would be better for me than doing lives. Um, and I also don't have um, a webcam that works well. So I'm just like, uh, I think I'll just stick with what I'm doing here with the whipping chats. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I enjoy making them. Because I realized that it's okay to have background noise. Now, I do try to edit out any crying or um, uh, anything that's too loud. I also try to pause my thoughts while my, my children are yelling in the background. Uh, and then continue on so that I have a clean clip that has no um, screaming in the background. So, um, I do... <laughs> I also cut out any coughing or sniffling. My husband laughs and says, You should put all of those in the bloopers. <laughs> and I'm like, nobody wants to hear me sniffle or, or cough. Come on now. And I just think, you know, it's allergy season or whatever and because I haven't even been outside though so it's just you know but I do run I do run the air conditioner in here um, for mostly background noise because you could hear a pin drop in this place it's so quiet but uh, except for my kids who are running around screaming and kicking and fighting and blah 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 so but, um, yeah, so I decided that if I don't put myself out there, I never will. So I took the challenge, um, I want to say I took the challenge more silently, but I did, um, message said person and, um, thanked her for inspiring me to put myself out there and um, make make videos about something that I am very passionate about. Um, it's kind of funny to me because I also watch um, Cheryl Burke's um, Friday show of All That Glitters on IGTV and um, the people in her life, they talk about how obsessed she is with diamond painting. And for me, I am really the only diamond painter. My husband will do it, but he'll do it infrequently. He will do it if he wants, if he gets around to it, if he feels like it, if. He'll do it periodically. Um, he's, he's on his third diamond painting now, and... Um, he's not in any hurry by any stretch of the means to get anything done any faster than what he's going to get it done. So, in other words, he doesn't have the want, need, Jones bone like I do where I'm like, I need to diamond paint today. I wake up thinking about diamond painting today. I go to sleep thinking about diamond painting today. You know, it's just um, my obsession. And she's as obsessed with it, apparently, as I am. And it's just funny to me to see somebody else, um, and he, even somebody else that has, you know, a really busy life. I, um, I'm sure Cheryl Burke has a lot of things in her life going on. And, you know, I just, it's nice to... To be able to see her love something the way I love it. And, um, you know, be able to talk about it. Uh, I just, I don't have anyone in my life that is really passionate about it. Except for a friend or whatnot that is like, oh my god, what is that? That's so cool. You know, so... Most of my friends say, oh, that's cool. What is it? Oh, I don't have the time or the patience for that. And, or, you know, they don't even want to try. My sister wouldn't even try. She said she wanted me to make her a diamond painting. 
told me what she made she created the collage on uh face on uh, photoshop or paint shop whatever whichever one she used and then um asked me to have it created for her and then asked me to do it for her but no she did not even have an inkling to even want to even put one stone on like at all she just like nope and then like i've said she hasn't even hung it up at least that i know that i know of um but it's just it's kind of frustrating a little bit but um you know she asked me to do it i did it it didn't come out the best though um home fun um did not do in my opinion a good job of rendering the photo they told me that it only needed to be a 60 by 60 but honestly i think it needed to be like a 90 by 90 and it lost detail in in two pictures and i was not happy with it but she said she was fine with it but apparently um she was probably just being nice which you know i ended up I ended up getting a partial refund for my nephew's painting at that time because um, he was he I got him a diamond painting and um, when it came it looked like the like they put a rubber band on it and it looked like the rubber band went that the rubber band went underneath the adhesive so um so yeah i got a diamond painting in the and the adhesive was like all pulled back i had to um stretch the adhesive back out and flatten it and um and then i debated whether or not i wanted to just cut that part off because it wasn't a super big deal if i had to but I just, um, I mean, most of that's probably under frame, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a big problem, but it just, oop, it just really, really sucked. Um, I was really disappointed in the fact that it, uh, did not, um, turn out that well. And she, you know, she, like, specifically asked me for painting and I tried to like dissuade her from wanting to um wanting to get um multiple pictures that were rendered but she wanted um she wanted pictures of her mom and her dad of my mo our mom and her dad um so I so and she and then she wanted some with her, my grandparents so she had like nine pictures I think and home fun just they just definitely did not um they did not render it well at all so it could have been my fault that they, it didn't get rendered well is that a hold up okay so this drill actually has a tab on it let's see if you can see this i think there's another one in here that has a tab on it too maybe not let me see now i can pick it up okay let me just place this one down and how about this one this one i'm gonna work out all right okay so this this drill in here actually has a tab on it you can see it 
on this side right right there so you've got to be careful you do not want to put those diamonds down if it has a tab like that you definitely do not want to put that in there because if you do then it might make all your other drills pop so if, hopefully you have enough enough drills and stuff that you don't you can just trash the ones that have tabs but now that means that i have to make sure that i pay close attention to tabs um sometimes you can break the tab off um but i would rather just not have to deal with that and just not use those ones if i can get away with it which i should be able to because they should give you plenty of plenty of them some of these look a little on the crooked side so I'm just trying to straighten them up a little bit make sure that they are good to go all right so it looks like this end is probably done with this color so I'm gonna flip it around I do not particularly like working on canvases upside down uh, I mentioned this in my video yesterday because I feel like you place the diamonds differently um, so it doesn't make me happy to have to flip this upside down and then also try to interpret, um, try to interpret these symbols because they get pretty crazy. So, uh, let's see, let's stretch this out to over here. There's one right there, so I need to go pretty far over. And you gotta be very careful when placing these because, like, I have to stabilize my arm to keep me from putting my arm down on the canvas. Um, I don't mind stabilizing my arm on some diamonds if there are enough of them, but... I need more than one one drill together in order to, to do that. It's got to be a few of them. Um, otherwise, um, you could make your canvas less sticky. You also want to make sure that when you diamond paint, if you do long sleeves, that you pull up your sleeves a little bit so that they don't hang down and get all over. Because that won't be good uh, to have fuzzies all stuck to your stuff. And... Um, you could always get, uh, for, for this, you're not going to need anything because they barely go over the line for the poured glue, uh, with the poured glue. When you do double-sided adhesive, it tends to go well over the line and then while you're working on it, the edge gets all crusty and gross from your sleeves or from, stop from you know whatever it doesn't it could be your cat laying on it it could be anything um you when you are um when you are doing your painting you gotta make sure that you keep it keep it covered so that the stuff doesn't dry out or get um, less sticky by getting stuff stuck to it, so. 
I'm very, very, very careful with with how I do my diamond painting. So, um, maybe not necessarily the outside edges on the double sided adhesive because mostly most of the ones I've done, I cut off those edges anyway to put them in the frames that we got for them. Um, like the ones that my husband is working on. Um, I have watercolor Disney characters and we bought frames for them. They're like basically 8 by 10s so I was able to get frames for them. And this one uh, will be able to be framed because it's a normal size. I think it's 12 by 12. Uh, if I decide to frame it, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do with it yet. I think the Diamond Art Club one that I just finished is going to end up being um, put on stretcher bars. My husband likes the stretcher bar idea because it's um, cheaper to frame stuff. Um, ah, don't turn. So, we are just plugging away. We have... Two more days until we're in our new place. Yeah. One one full day left here. Um, it's yeah. Saturday right now as I'm recording this. Um, so we're moving on Monday, so it's not it's not that long away. We're just really excited and ready to go, ready to move in and put things in places and get everything settled and um, you know be able to get back to our lives we feel like our lives are a little on the pause side because like everything is like well we gotta wait until we move well we gotta wait until we move so we can't do that until we get our own place. So we feel like our lives have been on pause since October. And it's not exactly fun. Um, I'm trying to diamond paint. And my two-year-old... Okay, my three-year-old. He's almost three. He'll be three next month. Um, in June. So my three-year-old is laying on the bed next to me. Because I'm sitting, I'm sitting on a bed in, in the room. And he's sitting on the bed. He's laying on the bed next to me. And he's got his feet on me. And he is kicking me. <laughs> and trying to move me around the bed. And I'm trying to diamond paint. And use my arm to diamond paint. And he is like got his foot right by my shoulder blade so when I reach over to put a diamond down he like kicks me over <laughs> I'm like stop it oh lordy okay so I'm already struggling enough as it is I don't need your help to kick me around Aiden These diamonds are really sparkly, though. I will give them that. I just don't like the way they do their symbols. That's like... That's, a, that's like the frustrating part for me. I feel like... I really like this painting. I actually um, have been seeing this painting for a while. And... They actually have a different version of it in a larger size um, because this is just the trial size for Dreamer Designs version of um, Twisted Blossom. So they do have 
a larger size, but I would have to look up and see. I'll put that in the in the text and see how big the actual the actual diamond painting is. Um, Cause I know that they were doing 40 by 50s and um, 60 by 80s in the 2.0 version and then they were doing, I think it was 30 by 40 and then 40 by 50 in the 1.0 version. And I think they are doing away or have done away with all of their um, original 1.0 diamond paintings. I don't I don't think they're going to do any more, but that could be the 30 by 40s. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Um but I know that they changed their I know that they changed their stuff to be larger because they larger but still frameable. So let's put it that way. Like it's still like it still should be in a natural size frame. I believe. Uh I don't know off off the top of my head what the measurements are, but it should still be a normal size frame to frame a sixty by eighty. I just wanted to get this color finished before I stop the camera again, but I'm probably going to have to maybe stop sooner than that because I didn't want to go too long with the flash on because I don't want it to... One, I don't want it to kill my phone, and two, I don't want it to lose my footage either. Because if it if it loses my footage, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> really, really, really upset. Because it always seems like that always like something always happens with my time lapses. Um, the last when I was doing the DAC one. Um, in the first half of this series then I um I lost not a lot but f but a few minutes so I did lose a few drills here and there but really not a lot I pretty much got everything so um but I need I need to figure out I think maybe how to um I, th I think I'm going to have to record on two devices and do my um, hyperlapse on one and my um, color your worlds on, on another just because I feel like the hyperlapse may be able to do a better job than me trying to just speed my frame up to you know like um, 64 times or whatever whatever it comes out to so, um, I'm going to try that, but I'm not going to try that until we get moved and settled into our place and I can attach two phones to it without any issues, um, to my table because my table has a lot of room on it. So, So for right now, I'm going to have 87,000 videos to to load, and they're all really large files. So um, pretty much after I'm done with a project, I have to get rid of all its individual files because otherwise I won't have enough room on my hard drive. Um, I ended up figuring out what was filling up my hard drive. <laughs> I had an old phone that I backed up to it and it backed up 90 get 90 gigabytes can you believe that 90 gigabytes of data from my phone that was videos uh photos of my children so you can only imagine like how much 
<laughs> video I actually take and how much I actually take of them. Like, it's a lot, obviously. If I, I ordered, well, my husband ordered the rest of the trial size DAC paintings. There's, there's four total that you can get and they're $8.95 each. Um, you just pay the shipping and processing fee. And so he, he decided to buy those for me so that I can do them on my channel. And those should be coming in on Monday. And I'm hoping that I get some kind of word about my Mayan ones. That, like, I don't... I'm not really worried about the other two things that I have shipping in so much as those paintings because they cost they cost me the most so I'm a little on the worried side about that because if they're lost then I need a refund before they decide not to give me a refund <laughs> I mean, I haven't even been able to see them, so I don't even know if they're in perfect condition or not, or what what their conditions are going to be like when they arrive. I'm trying really hard not to use the light pad. Because when you record while you have a light pad on, feel like it makes everything look dull and like all of the diamonds are in a shadow instead of you know like forefront and sparkly. He usually doesn't watch TV when I'm, I am, um... oh that one's really bad, look at that, can you see that, no you can't. I feel like that the symbol quality and the between the symbol quality having to check to make sure the diamonds don't have any tabs on them or that they're not misshapen it kind of takes up a lot of time you have to check every one and make sure now it's like we can't put those on on the canvas or they don't co go cohesively together. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.